welcome, and thank you for joining me for this World Skills Mastercam tutorial series, Machining Your Part. This series aims at helping you create your part from start to finish in Mastercam. In this episode, we will look at aligning our model to Mastercam's work coordinate system, selecting a machine, setting up the stock, and selecting tools from the tool manager. First, we need to open the model into Mastercam. Let's go to the open icon on the quick access toolbar at the top of the screen. With the file open dialog box displayed, we can locate the model. There is also a drop down menu that shows supported file types to help filter the list. After selecting the file, we can right click in the graphics window to get the right click menu options. We can use the isometric command to get a better view of the model. When we use the Alt-S keyboard shortcut to shade and unshade the solid model, we can see that Mastercam's work coordinate system origin is in the middle of the part. Right-click in the graphics window to ensure the 2D 3D switch is set to 3D. If it is not, toggle the switch to change the setting. On the ribbon bar, go to the Transform tab and select Move to Origin. The next point that we select will be placed on the WCS origin. To select the center of the top face, go to the Auto Cursor drop-down on the selection bar and select Face Center. Now, select the top face of the part. The model changes to the result color, letting us know that it has been moved from its original location. Right-click and select the Clear Colors command to change the model to the original color. Now, let's grab a machine. Back to the ribbon interface, under the Machine tab, we will find all the different options for machine types to choose from. Clicking on the Mill icon, we can select the default. After selecting the machine, the ribbon interface is updated to add the Toolpaths Contextual tab, which is where we will be selecting the toolpaths to machine the part. With a machine loaded, the Toolpath Manager, which is docked to the left side by default, is now updated. We can expand the properties and go right into Stock Setup. Under the selection, there are different options to set up the stock. Let's choose the Add from a Bounding Box function. Using the Bounding Box function, set the origin to the middle and select the All Shown Radio button to grab the entire model. This will apply the bare minimum amount of stock to encapsulate everything visible. With the origin in the middle, adjusting the stock size applies it evenly. Going from 95mm to 110mm, it applies the excess material equally across both sides. Same for adjusting the thickness from 40mm to 60mm. At the bottom of the bounding box function panel, we can also create geometry of the stock boundaries, which can help streamline the machining process later. Selecting the Lines and Arcs checkbox creates the stock profile. Click OK to go back to the stock setup page. Staying in the Machine Group function panel, go to the Tool page. Here, there are some options to configure tool settings and apply it to the part file. Selecting the Assign Tool Number Sequentially checkbox under Toolpath Configuration will automatically number tools as we select them in numerical order. Select OK to accept the stock and tool changes made. Lastly, we can go ahead and pre-select some of our tools for the part file. Under the Toolpath's Contextual tab, select Tool Manager. With the Tool Manager dialog box displayed, we have two windows. The upper window is the Machine Group window, which is where the tools we select are stored. The bottom window is the Tool Library window, and that contains the Tool Library. Go to the Tools tab to display the list. On the right side of the Tool Manager dialog box, there is a Tool Filter checkbox and button. Turning on the checkbox applies the filter, and by default, all of the options are enabled. After selecting the Tool Filter button, deselect all of the tool types by using the None option and select just flat end mills. Select OK to update the list. Now, select a 10mm flat end mill and use the up arrow to move it into the Machine Group window. Also, select a 6mm flat end mill, which will be used for the remachining and finishing operations. Now, repeating the same process, using the Tool Filter button, Let's select the other tools that are needed, including a 10mm spot drill, six point eight millimeter drill, and 
and the M8 by 1.25 right-handed tap. Select OK to exit the tool manager. Well, that is all the time we have for this episode. Thank you for joining me and be sure to continue the series as we begin to apply roughing toolpaths to the first side.